and welcome back to Sex Talk. Now, in just three minutes, I'll be showing you my cheeks. But first, let's meet our two experts on sex, our two sex experts, our two sexperts. Sex, perts, buttocks. Sex. Now then, uh, of course, we have Jo Tolbert, who is perhaps best known for her research into the field of sex and her radio show, in which she talks starkly and bleakly about the subject of floor. And uh, uh, next to Jo is, of course, Mr. Graham Avent. Graham, who is, of course, TV's Mr. Sexercise. Ucha, ucha. Now then, you uh, all know the number to ring. It's 0898, and that's the number to ring. Our first caller is a man, and it's John. John from Swansea. Line two, John. Yeah, I'm ringing about my girlfriend. Uh-huh. Well, she's worried about the navigational skills of my seamen. I see. Mind you, who can blame her? I am, after all, captain of HMS Belfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice one, mate. That's a good one. <laughs> all right. Now, our next caller is... It's, it's Ian from Anglesey. Ian. I can't get it up. Well, you can't get your tent up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice one, mate. Nice. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> Listen, Mark, we should go out for a drink sometime, yeah? Yeah, nice one. <laughs> OK, cheers, mate. Oh, dear. Now then, line three. Karen from Banstead. Hi, can I speak to Jackie? Um, she's not here. Oh, I don't mind waiting. Well, look, do you want to leave a message or something? Yeah, and um, can you tell her... Oh, just say... Well, look, can you say that Ian isn't coming on Thursday, he's coming on Wednesday week instead? So, can she put the chicken back in the freezer? I mean, obviously, if she's defrosted it already, then there's nothing we can do. But if she hasn't taken it out yet, then tell her to leave it in and take out the beef instead, and we'll have that instead. And the otherwise, the chicken right, will go look, off. Um, hang on, I'll get a pen and write this down. Look, can you just get her to ring me? I don't, tell her I'm a carol. Oh, no, I'm not I'm gonna, I'll be there when she gets... Look, can you ask her... No, um... All right, tell her to leave a message with Alan. She might get one of his assists... Oh, they're not very good. Hello, tell her not to ring Carl direct, OK? Because he's just had the MOT done, so he's not going to pay for another one. I mean, it's not in his interest. Can you tell her that? Oh, yeah, one last thing. Don't say anything about the chicken to my mother, because you know what she's like. We'll never hear the end of it. I mean, if she gets wind of it, that's it. We're all off. OK, you've got that. Yeah. Right, our next caller, it's, uh, it, it's, it's Jackie. Did Karen ring? Yeah. Was she ringing about the car? Because it's gone, he's already sold it, he's done a part exchange down in Pearly, the same place where he bought the damn thing, honestly, I don't know why he didn't get rid of it earlier. In fact, I don't know why he bought the bloody thing in the first place, the paper's all scratched, it was brand new, I'm sure it wasn't. I reckon they'd have a fiddle, it's easy, just tamper with the paper in the mart, it's brand new.